Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday. It's a pouring, wet, rainy, dark day. We have the girls doing homeschool. Is it weird that the dogs, as soon as you turn on the camera, they all run to you? Yeah, usually when, as soon as they turn on the camera, the dogs all run to me and the kids usually stop what they're doing and get ready to talk to you guys. I expect you to do 70. I really expect you to do 70 because it's just kind of like a review. It's a basic thing. You can, I know you mastered it so fast. You can do 70. Awesome. Ruby, can she do 70? Ruby's like, Ruby loves me now, you guys. Like, the girls have new puppies and she's feeling left out, so she comes to me. She should, she should go to her dad. I know, but he's not here, so she comes to me. My dog comes to me to sleep. And she will go to whoever will play with the toy with her. Yeah, she's begging you. And she will go to whoever is cuddling. She just whoever. wants to cuddle. Yeah, she loves to cuddle me. She's such a cuddle bug. We're gonna change she her food. In the morning. Yeah, we're gonna change her food to a different brand. I think it's the, the not a brand, to a different box of ingredients. I think that she's just sensitive to one of the ingredients because she still be having the belly ache, and this is all she can do all day long. I mean, she was playing. With her. Yeah, she was playing, and she does have moments of playfulness, but most of the time she'd be laying down. She has her new collar. Look at the belly, and it's not because she's fat, because she's not fat. She's bloated but not as bloated as she has been last night was a brutal night for her she was in so much pain like this puppy will just lay and sleep off the belly ache all the time anyway interesting story a long time ago i used to tell you guys that we would all dress so similarly without even like coordinating and today sophie's wearing her halter equestrian and Gabby is wearing her halter equestrian. We're changing to ride. Yeah, we're going to ride today. Even though it's raining, we are going to ride our horses. Yeah, I've got no horse. <laughs> I still have no horse. But that is going to end. That's going to end, you guys, so soon. In just three days, I'm going to try my horse. So it is true. I am going to try the horse. I... Our horse show, we canceled. We were gonna go to a horse show on Saturday, but Brandon's like, the next week we're doing a big horse show. So, and it's so dark. Like, our horse show starts at 9 a.m. and it's dark till 8.30. So, we'd be like getting ready and, and practicing and warming up in the pitch black. So, we're gonna skip this one on Saturday and go and try my horse instead. And I've been getting the signs, you guys. Like so many signs sometimes i feel like we close ourselves off to the signs and they're harder to see this time i decided hey this time i decided not to pay attention to the signs and i'm seeing them all like i am seeing so many signs like i saw signs that said i'm gonna bring home a horse like i'm br that was actually the words bringing home the horse like and we know we've we all know i brought home a horse before and it was not the right thing but if i bring home a horse this time it's for real it's forever i don't know so many signs i can't even tell you how many signs i think hopefully it works out but if it doesn't i'm okay with that too i noticed that when we save our giveaway till the end of the vlog that it's really hard for me to fit it in most nights i've gone to have my bath and then i'm like oh shoot we need to do that and then i'm in my pajamas and then i'm like oh maybe we should skip it and do it tomorrow i don't want to do that so i'm going to do the giveaway today i'm going to show you guys what the next giveaway is and i'm going to pick somebody to win the equizen prize the equizen prize is actually a really sweet prize like who doesn't love equestrian outfits um, i have all my stuff over here plus my big treats that i have to ship out i'm waiting till uh probably friday night so that sam can be here and take me to the post office so i can get all the stuff i need to ship them out so I'll be expecting those to I'm waiting for Gabby to come down. She's going to choose the winner of the Equizen products, the Equizen clothes and the product. Um, and I'm just now getting to read today's comments. Like that's how busy it gets sometimes for me. I'm just now reading the comments and I just want to say like, I was going about my day thinking everything was happy and normal and good. And I started reading your comments and I felt so much love. Like, honestly, I could not ever live a day without you guys ever. Like, I just can't get over how much you guys complete my life. Like, I just love you guys. Like, from the bottom of my heart. Like, you can't even imagine. Maybe you can't imagine. I can't imagine. I don't know. I just can't imagine. I'm so grateful for you guys. Okay, Gabby, come and pick us a winner. So Gabby's going to pick the winner of the Equizen gift pack. It's got a base layer. It's got, I'll show you a picture here, a base layer, a t-shirt, and Equizen products. So if you guys have a horse that is challenging and you might want to try it, now is your opportunity. Okay, Gabby got one. That person. Renee Sadler. 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 Renee. Renee Sadler. Done. You are the winner. 
Okay, so uh, the next giveaway is going to include two companies. We're going to give the the, pri the prizes are a little bit small, so we're going to give both of them. They kind of connect together. So Sophie's going to show you. You're going to want to go and follow on Instagram. Um, the Equine Bakery. The Equine Bakery. And they are giving you the strawberry limited edition treat strawberry kiwi. Like those are adorable strawberry kiwi treats for your horse. Uh, I'm entering this. The Equine Bakery. And we are also going to give the same person that wins that. Um, go follow Shimmering Equine. Sugar, shimmering EQ. Shimmering EQ. You get six little candies. You get strawberry candies. And then you get a kiwi strawberry. I think it's, yeah. Strawberry kiwi leather balm. So you're going to get leather balm for all your leather products, some candies for yourself, and some horse treats. And some strawberry kiwi horse treats for your horse. So this is going to all be one giveaway. So to win this, you're, you're going to want to go and follow the Equine Bakery, and Shimmering EQ. Go ahead, like both of those pages. You have to, you have to like both of them, and come back here and comment, done, and, you get five cards. and we'll pick a winner. Also, Renee Sadlier, message me on Instagram or email, and I will give all your information to Equizen so they can mail out your prize. Thank you guys so much for continuing on. We have some more prizes, some that are a little bit bigger, some that are around the same size, but we're gonna get there, you guys. Let's just keep going. I am loving this giveaway. I hope you guys are too. So the thing that I'm most scared about for bringing, getting a new horse is that the weather, you guys know, I'm afraid that I'm not gonna live up to what she needs because I'm cold. I feel like I feel like if I could be here today and take my kids riding in the middle of this blizz, this rainstorm, then I could ride my horse. Okay, so I'll explain. Let's go. So basically, it's pouring rain. Oh my gosh, poor Finny. Those are all our horses there. He wants to get dry and storm too. Sheena lost the bell boot, and I think even though it's supposed to be warm today, I think we put the, the rain sheets on. I'm not coming there. You can do it. What are you doing? Did she fall? <gasps> Kenny, be careful. Come on, do it. You can do it.
muddy, rainy, yucky day. Sophie's decided that she's going to work on transitions. Gabby is working on putting on her spurs because it's a process. She's still doing that. Sophie's. Can I have my sure. Gabby's been enjoying these gloves. Gabby rides with gloves, and Sophie and I don't. But I think I get blisters on my hands if I don't. Yeah, he's super powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was choking with my drink and Sophie's over there cantering away and all of a sudden he just jumped the pool. Like Finn wants to jump and he wants to go. Sophie's still nervous because of the bit change so we're working on that. We're working on loosening her hands. She had her hands going pretty good before the bit change but we're just gonna, it's gonna be a process just to get her there and see if Finny wants to jump. <coughs> So it's a flat day, Finn. It's a flat day. So the thing is, we're telling Gabby's like, hold him back. He should be able to walk over those or yeah, do whatever. Yeah, I know. I him to but then all the subscribers, but then all the subscribers freak out because she's pulling on him. But are you liking that? Do you? Are you liking that, Sophie? girls are riding, Finny is jumping, still some uh, learning. The reason Sophie is pulling back on her, her halter and holding a little bit tighter right now is because he's not listening. Let go! Remember, use it and lose it. I'm not even pulling. He's just it's really tight. Sophie, Gabby, is the halter too tight on Finn? No. All right. It's the fin's a little big, so it looks like too tight because it's pulling up, but it's just because the D-ring's a bit big for him. Oh, the D-ring is a big for him? Yeah, but that's what happens when you try a bit. They're not going to fit perfectly. You're not just going to go to the store and buy a brand new bit just to try and see if you're supposed to pull it. Wow, good job. Good job, Gabby. I don't know if you guys heard that. It barely doesn't fit him. Like he, So basically, we're trying the bit. So are the D-rings smaller on a cob size? So everybody, a lot of people are saying about that collar you want for Molly, that used correctly, just like Spurs, it can be an excellent training tool. Then there are some people who are saying, like me, the girl on TikTok is like, I use this collar because it helps your dog. Like, yeah. I love listening to Gabby and hearing her point of view. Some of you guys will disagree and some of you guys will agree. I but I like... Wow. See, you guys think we're just coming here, playing? All right, it's just them that thinks that we're just coming here and playing. But really, they're learning every single ride. All she wanted yesterday for her birthday <laughs> was was to ride, but we just couldn't fit it in. That was a beautiful canter. So remember, you have to make them listen to you. Otherwise, you're going to have a pony that does whatever he wants. We don't want to go back to that. She's, she's not minding that he goes cantering and jump. Makes me jealous. Like, I love that feeling when you put out so much energy and it just feels good to exercise. Watching them makes me excited for a time when I can exercise. Now that it's getting really close to the time that I try my mare, um, I'm going to be, like, talking more about her because I can't contain it, you guys. And you guys are the only horse people I know. Well, I know a lot of horse people now, but you guys are the only horse people that really care and don't mind if I talk about the new horse. Anyways, um, so like the things I'm worried about, I already told you, I'm a bit worried about living up to what she needs in the winter and the cold months, especially if I keep her home. I don't know if I want to keep her home yet. I want to take her home, see how it goes. I want, I want to keep her home because one, I don't know if they have room at this barn for her. I know that they're like full. Um, if I can get her in, I might try and get her in. Number two, I kind of want to, Gabby's just flying. Oh, I didn't miss it. But he didn't go down. His nose just touched the ground like, oh. 
It's finished. So, okay, change the subject here for a second, but uh, Gabby's inspiration for her outfits is an old coach at our old barn. So we used to ride with, like, at, we used to ride at that one barn when we first had YouTube, you know, the barn that we left to go to Fiona's. So there's, there's an instructor there, and she wasn't Sophie, Gabby's instructor, but every time, every time we see her at shows, she's always dressed in like tailored sportsman but she always has like these color combinations that gabby loves and she has the navy tailored sportsman's and a black base layer and gabby always thinks she looks so super professional and so, that was, so that's her inspiration for her color con her color combination all right so back to my horse so i'm afraid of not riding her enough i'm afraid of keeping her at home i'm afraid there we go yeah, good job. So those are, those are not that big of a deal. I know those things all all work out, and I and I love that having YouTube keeps me motivated and encourages me to get out there, like today in a rainy day. And I love that um, you guys keep me hold me accountable. Like that will help me for sure. So that stuff's not that big of a deal. The big thing I'm biggest worried about right now is that the owner is gonna think I suck at riding. I'm a beginner, and she said that this is a beginner horse, so. Hopefully she doesn't expect too much of me, <laughs> and hopefully she lets me buy her. I'm really, really, really beginner when she got thin. Yeah. When he's teaching me how to jump in a figure. Yeah. Strong stop, then did a bunny hop. Okay, my kids are just wanting to talk like crazy today. Because you're saying stuff to me. I know. Don't you just want to talk to them? Sometimes Strong I feel... teaches you how to stay on a bunny hop, but Finn teaches you to let him go and just have fun. Yeah. Okay, keep going, because you're going to be done soon. Somebody else shows up, we got to leave. Just when I decided we're gonna put the blankets on the horses, it's like drying up out there. So there's that, but I don't know. The thing that I'm most excited about is that Tennessee walking horses, as well as well as most gated horses, like to move. So they're fast, and Tennessee walking horses are fast. Like they move, but the thing is, because they move differently, it's smooth and easy to sit. So you just sit there and you just go, and it's fun. Like who knew I would love that? But anyway, that's what I'm most excited for. I'm also really excited to meet her and to know her. There's something about her picture that speaks to my soul, but I think if I look at any horse's picture long enough that that happens. But there are lots of people, horses' pictures that I look at and it doesn't speak to my soul. So I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's it for now. Like, by the time you guys are watching this, it'll be two days before I see my horse. Look at how nice this horse is going. Like, you, you really got, oh, except for his head is bent. Oh, she, he doesn't want to go in this corner, so she's pulling him. on the mounting block because it doesn't hurt her knees. Whenever she jumps down, it hurts her knees. How and many of you guys- pull the saddle down as much. You got dirt all over your face. <laughs> you did fall today. Good boy, Finny, you're gonna get some treats. How many of you guys have bad knees from riding? Is it because of bad positioning? Is it because, because when I get off, it's a side effect of riding? Like, 
I don't stretch my knees out before I get off. That's why they always hurt. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Also, did you know that gated horses you don't get that sore in your groin because you don't rise on them and you could ride for hours. You could ride for days and not be sore. Isn't that crazy? We're at the grocery store because equestrians be hungry. Riding horses literally makes you so hungry. Doesn't that look so good? I don't know what I want to get. I love a Greek salad though. 89 cents, that's not 89 cents. That is. It's 89 cents a pound. She put in craving bananas, so. This is my favorite thing to eat in all of the world. And they have zero grams of sugar. Zero grams of sugar. But what color are they? It's good. Gluten. All right, no sugar, no gluten. I've been trying to teach Sophie that about bad carbs and good carbs. And no, chips are, are bad carb. And Gabby's over here in the chocolate section. She bought it. She's buying herself some chocolate cake, some hot chocolate. Made it to the junk section. And Gabby's in love. I want this one. Can you buy it? You know you're a Canadian when you get excited about blankets. Can you buy it for me? Can you buy me the gray one, Mom? Maybe for Christmas. Blankets are come for Christmas. Don't you know that you're beautiful?